Welcome back in to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're here on Man of Beden, and we're going to go ahead and continue the story here. And uh, I know it's been a while since we have played this here on the channel, but I've been busy doing other things and playing other games. And uh, I would like to continue this, and uh, let's get this wrapped up. So I don't know if we're going to do it on this episode, but we're going to get as far as we can in the time that I have allotted to play. So here we go. Let's continue the story here and see what happens. Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. OK. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll 
isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting, are we? Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Not gonna lie, the jump scare almost had me. Almost. Well, that doesn't look good.
I think so. These are kind of, maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. That's what good I was news? thinking. Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Let's untie this guy, guys. We gotta get untied, like now. Here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Damn. You're the little lady. Treat a lady right. Slow down. Easy. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill you! brother is not been found he's hiding under the bed what's he gonna do <clears throat> or rather what can we tell him to do Shut the fuck up. 
I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine, they didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. That was the engagement ring that he had given her. That sucks. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. We should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. No! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, or sir. Olsen, come here.
Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Gotta play two sides. One time I took my hand off the control. Everything's better when we have each other around. You get that? Don't you? Psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now.
completely unexpected. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. Everything's not as it seems. Okay, well. We will find out, I guess. La porte, la Abandoned porte, World War II freight. And we're boarding. Junior, you retire la tête à l'image. Okay, now I'm controlling the movement of the character. Looks like I'm controlling the, this guy, yeah. This whole place is a floating death trap. I 
did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Yeah, I think we're beyond that. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Oh, man. What was that? Oh, shit! Ah, the old rat jump scare. Oh, son! You're in port, you see? Okay. All of you. Into the room. In place. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. No shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. We can't Gotta just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man, this whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? You cannot hotwire distributor cap, okay? These assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm, well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. So what I was going to say earlier without disrupting the dialogue was playing a little bit of humor I think could be helpful. Uh, somebody's got to have some kind of humor. Je suis 
votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? I wonder why this was ripped off. I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. What do you think this ship was? No, oh, I gotta hold it, I guess, to uh, examine it. Sorry. Wow. Hey, baby doll, I miss you like crazy. Alex, Three months until my next leave. I'm really scared. Jumping into your arms. Three months. So this is just a note to one of the sailors on the boat. Real, real creepy. I don't see anything else that way. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like we got a way out. Missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the. So, this may have been that gold that they're talking about. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey! Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Let's barricade. Because they're going to hear the noise either way, right? Hey, hey. Stop! Are we 
safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Oh, shit. You're right. I got way too excited pressing buttons, anticipating the quick time event. We got a door here. Mystery of the smelling sock. Smelling socks is a mystery is solved. <laughs> Another rat jump scare. So we're in like the washroom. Am I going that way? Apparently not. So we have to go back the way I came. Okay, I'm not the only one who just saw the person there. I just want to know where the hell they all went. That there should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Should we go in here or leave it? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. I am so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Where's our buddy? Why are we all split up? Hello? Now I'm hearing whispers. But you don't hear that? The whispering. I don't hear anything. Except this old junker wheezing and creaking. Oh, this is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Skull. A little rat skull, maybe? It's kind of what it looks like. That's not good. That's not a, the kind of premonition you want. Make sure there's nothing over here that we can look at. God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? All right, I was getting ready to say, why are we splitting up? Distributor cap. We can get that. 
we can get back to the boat, get the hell out of here. Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. Ya quelqu'un? Such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Okay. Qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Another rat scare? Jesus! God! Alex? What is it? Ugh. See for yourself. Like, uh, guts, intestines, or something. How the hell do they get there, though? Hey, according to this, today's beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. This place. I'm thinking we got to go through here. Starting to see the mist. <laughs> what? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? That one got me. All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! We didn't laugh at her, we're just... All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do, turn around? We've seen all this before. 
Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Yeah, you notice that mist on the floor. Creepy as hell. Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. human what is the deal with this place that is some bad mojo dude okay leave <laughs> now leave 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 well the last two are glowing so we might as well check them You've got some serious locks in these caskets why would they be chained and locked well that's one way to end a relationship look at this one like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents. And they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and... then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. What's the matter? Shh. Another rat. What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? It's not a face. Just a piece of decoration or treasure. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time to lose. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? Oh, we got bodies over here. What? Fuck! This is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? So we got one that's gone missing. Connie, where the fuck are you? Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Connie! Hey, Conrad! Where the hell did he go? deck here with Fliss. Now we're playing as her. Tell me where we are going, damn it! I don't even think they know where we're going.
You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? That's right. Stop. Like our friend here is getting jumpy. Missed again. This fucking place is cursed. Time believing the pipes are still pressurized. Please, you don't have to do this. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Friends go. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Vision or not? That is really pushing. Se quase botar. My sentiments exactly. What is this guy doing? And why? <laughs> Let's go take a look at our picture here. So, 
looking for the others. That door's locked. Maybe we can go back here. Oh. All right, so we'll go straight. places to go. see anything looking back at you when you <laughs> look through a vent. Ah, we're down on the ground level. And that can't be a good sign. Oh, here we go. Massachusetts. These are all definitely U.S. soldiers, or were. Let's so we go through this door. Okay. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, shit, fuck. All right. Let's go. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on! Here. Interesting. Do not leave post. Ah! Ah! Was weird. Hello? Who's there? This can't be good. 
Do not leave post unless relieved by another guard. Can't go through that door. Let's double back. We'll go across the catwalk here. Or can we drop down? Or the mist. I'm telling you, I don't like this mist stuff. Every time we see the mist, something bad happens. Hiding together. U.S. General, Infantry, 14th Division. Hello. Oh hell! Oh, great. Perfect. Wonderful. A little bro here. What? Fuck this place. Was that? Can we go what through this thing here? They're close. Which is why they were using gas masks. Maybe they're through here. Yeah, maybe so. Does look like the area. Julia? Where Hello? It's friends, right?
see something. Light Skeletons. Light. Skeletons. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. Sir, you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times with no responses. Huh. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no! ship. That was creepy. Got another one. So she's seeing all these. Oh no, 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 no. That's, that's our dude right there. What is going on here? Bullet. this wow that sure is a pretty part of the ship handles they are this place is not right what is going on here okay definitely not right Your head on straight. Another premonition. Weird. 
Alright guys, we're gonna do it. Fuck it. Expected that. Alright, so that's not cool. We're outside. in the cast. I'm gonna check it. Alright, let's check this first. We got the mist all over the floor again. here so it looks like we do have power with whichever switch we turned on I don't know how we'd still have power What do we have here? Standard operating procedure for handling hazardous chemical. Department for war. Looks like the only pages we could read there, so. More rats or people? What do we got? Patrol vehicle, U.S. Military, 14th Division, Detroit. Okay, now we got the mist. 
I saw a person back there behind her. She can't see, I wonder. Alright, guys and gals, we've been playing now for an hour and 22 minutes, so. Ooh. Plane, rather. could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! surprised me with the whole pirate adventure thing and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar and that's what you get. You get these guys that are not the cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship.
All right. We're going to end it here. That was crazy. I'm excited to see where this is going to keep going. If we can all survive. If we don't, who doesn't? And uh, we will catch this on episode three of Man of Meeting. So if you uh, stop by, thanks for checking it out. See you on the next one.